What's good, YouTube? Dre here with Different Gaming. I'm uh, going to be bringing you guys a deck profile. Uh, I believe this deck, um, this rogue deck, actually can compete with uh, the meta decks uh, this format. Um, post February ban list. Um, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, uh, hit that like button, uh, hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload new videos. Um, if you're already subscribed to the channel, thank you for your continued support. Um, been having some issues with my iPhone. Um, had to get some information switched over, but now my iPhone is up and running. Um, getting everything situated. Um, yeah, still trying to get, you know, the schedule going to tournaments and stuff, uh, on point. But really waiting to see how the format shapes up you know the ban list didn't hit yet um the ban list was still new um there's only been one big tournament so far and that was ycs vegas um and cash terror took took it um cash terror is definitely um an adaptive deck and actually, I've been thinking about doing a new series, um, a card discussion series. Um, if any of you would like to see that, um, like I really love having a discussion about cards, especially underrated cards. Um, but enough with that. I'm going to go ahead and hop into the day profile. All right. Um, this is going to be pure Shadal uh, for the post-February ban list. I would start off two Squamata. To Wendy, to Hedgehog, and to Ariel. Um, you need two Ariel, one for the combo, and then one just in case you need it. Um, for the one O's, Hound. Hound is very good. Um, you can actually, instead of just sending um, Beast with Wendy, you can now, you know, you can send Hound, set it, and if your graveyard is already um, set up, like Hound is more for, you know, mid game, if you can ground that long. Um, Dragon, Falco. Um, Falco is just a recurring body. Um, you can do some synchro plays, uh, but um, it's just a reoccurring body. Um, that's it for the monsters. For the spells, three Shadow Fusion, two El Shadow Fusion. Um, I don't max out on El Shadow Fusion because it, it can be dead in your hand, especially if you're going first. Um, for the traps, two Rush, one Shadow Core, one Schism. And then three sinister shadow gains. Um, this uh, gets your stuff, get your engine going. Um, allows you to send any Shadal card. So you can send a Squamata, send a Wendy, um, anything that you need. Um, Shadal Core is just another way to grab your Schism or your uh, Shadal Fusion or El Shadal Fusion from the grave. For non-engine, for your starter, a mathematician, only play two. You only need two. Um, you want to see it, but at the same time, you don't want to see it. Um, if you do see it, you definitely want to, you know, start off and hope that your hand is equivalent to, you know, plus off of whatever you send with mathematician, because um, you can send. Juggler, you can send any any of your Shadals except for Beast, um, and it's an Earth. So you have that, and for the Clown package, two Juggler, uh, Trick Clown, and Hat Tricker. Um, the reason you play two Juggler is because there's a lot of times where I only play one of each, and I'll end up with either 
these in hand, these in hand, or all three in hand. Um, or say you need a juggler and you have these two in hand, that, that makes your juggler dead. So, or there, there's a lot of scenarios, very, a lot of scenarios. But having two jugglers is just beneficial. Um, it's a light. Not only is it a is it an extender, but you can also use it for, uh, in the battle phase damage step. Um, you can make battle damage go to zero for the next damage you will take. Uh, Trick clown, um, self-explanatory, just recurrent body. Uh, head tricker is an extender. These two are extenders. Um, for some sauce, uh, Mana Dragon, Zernitro, Zernitron. Um, this format, everyone's playing a uh, back row removal. Um, so, say if someone cosmics your schism and you know every Shadal player plays one, um, if this is in your hand or graveyard, you can special summon this and then uh, set a spell or trap that is banished or in your grave. Um, not that specific one, but um, that, it's a way to get your schism back from being banished or um, or say if you set a bait spell or trap card, you know, hoping that it don't get destroyed, um, this can help you get it back. So, um, hand trap, Nibiru, the only hand trap. Um, this will probably change just because I've been studying the format and Cash Terra is starting to adapt. So they're starting to be able to go um, do their combo and do it in under five summons. Um, and also they are adapting to Book of Eclipse. Forbidden Lance is still a card. Uh, Foolish Burial, um, get your play started. Two Book of Eclipse in the main. Um, you could play a third one, or you can put the third in a side. Um, doesn't matter. Um, it's just for going second, you know, just a going second card. Uh, for draw power, two spell of knowledge. And then for the last three, we have Paleozoic, Dinomiscus, and the Mischief of the Yokai. Um, Mischief of the Yokai, I know I'm going to have some questions about. So if you go first and you happen to have this in your opening hand and you set it, um, you can let your cat, let your opponent, if they're playing Cash Terra, Sprite, um, any deck that requires two levels to be the same so they can um, exceed summon, um, activate Mischief of the Yokai and each face up monster um, level is reduced by two. So that turns off rank seven plays, that turns off rank four plays, that turns off rank two plays. Um, it, it, it's a big interruption and it's kind of the same as D barrier. Um, if you can't get a D barrier or don't have D barrier, a um, mischief of the yokai I feel is a good substitute. And this is why I want to start having card discussion videos. So I'm not going to, you know, go deeper into Mischief of the Yoka because this is a deck profile video. But, you know, just my reasoning behind Mischief of the Yoka. Um, this is it for the main 42. Um, for the extra, got Dweller, uh, Baguska. Um, there's still elements running around they actually play the Shadal hollow for extra meal so um, this dweller is still good to play um, Baguska um, if you don't have a good first hand to go off um, and you can go a safer route um, that's what Baguska is for um, going to be doing some testing with it um, 
probably going to be testing lines. Um, I got to find my lances, but that's it for the X seeds. Uh, for the link, for the twos, you got Cross Sheep IP, then Nightmare, and then Mech Knight, um, Avermax. Um, I figured this would be the be better package. Um, um, Cause you can go IP into Avermax and then Avermax can be targeted or destroyed. I do believe that's how IP works. Yep, cannot be destroyed, and then Avermax can't be targeted. Yeah, when it's summoned, it can't be targeted. So, and you, you'll have enough monsters to be able to go in into Avermax without having to go into Unicorn. Um, you do play Super Poly in the side. Um, Drago Stapelia, um, definitely one of the best uh, super poly targets next to Garura. Um, for the Shadows, one Shikanaga, um, two Wenda, might bump it up to three, um, two Abcolone, and then three Construct. Um, that was the deck. Um, I'm gonna go to locals this upcoming Friday. I have to double check and make sure I don't have anything else planned or make sure there's nothing else going on. And take it to locals and test it there and see how we do. Um, smash that like button. Um, leave your comments in the comment section below. Um, I hope you guys enjoy, and as always, peace.